proportional representation of the same opportunities. Um, I think uh, uh, when the states had their first uh, vice, female vice president, I think that's when we are progressing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Things like being able to celebrate the successes of women, the accomplishments of women, but also acknowledging that there is still a lot of work to be done when it comes to core issues around women in society and then also you know women in the workplace as well. It is uh, really a way that I approach life, not just in terms of how we work together, but in terms of how we live together, how we play together, how we love together. Um, it is now a regular part of my repertoire and uh, really is something that controls where I think about basically just how I, how I go about my day-to-day -day life now. An opportunity to take notice and celebrate all the amazing women in my life and girls in my life and the accomplishments of the Fidan, my wife, who is my rock and my biggest support, my lovely daughter, Isabella, who will one day take over the world, and all the amazing women that I work with day in and day out at the peak, and all the partners that we have. Being able to find that balance. Um, so being able to have the flexibility to be able to fulfill the responsibilities um, of being a mother, being able to be treated the same way as others who may not have the same sort of uh, dependence or responsibilities. I think that that is embracing equity, is um, providing flexibility. I think it's important to remember the importance of uh, not making assumptions and uh, recognizing that everybody experienced their own lives differently. Uh, they may share different experiences than I do or that I may be aware of. Um, and to really embrace continuous learning. There are some specific steps that you can take by a policy as a corporation. For example, ensuring that there's uh, a certain number of females uh, in the final round of the decision-making process for every position. So there are policy decisions that you can make that can help uh, level the playing field to ensure uh, a more um, equitable workplace. So it's not like a specific initiative, but I accidentally became um, a mentor for a lot of women in the volleyball community. Um, but a lot of women there who like, you know, um, had their own journey, they're athletes themselves. Uh, they, um, they have their own struggles. And for those that I have gotten to know, um, for some reason, they kind of like, came to me for lots of advice, whether it's career, personal, sports, uh, fitness, finances, whatnot. Um, I've just decided to take on a bit of an active role in that. So I'm part of the Jedi team at Peak Power, <laughs> which is great. And there's just a big group of us who are really dedicated and we are doing videos like this. Uh, we will be doing things in social media. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a lot more. And like one of the great things about our our team is that we also don't think that this uh, women's thing should be relegated to International Women's Day and just like Black History or, or these issues shouldn't be just relegated to February. So we'll be doing these things um, as all throughout the year.